What if you could replace your laser rangefinder and your spotting binoculars with one device? Well, I'm excited to say that's what I'm able to do with the all new Athlon Cronus 10 by 50 laser range finding binoculars. And that's the subject of this video. Gavin Gay here from UltimateReloader.com. In this video, we're gonna take a quick look at the new Athlon Cronus 10 by 50 laser range finding binoculars. And I'm gonna start by showing you what's in the box. Now I haven't even had these out of the box yet. I did see these at the SHOT Show when I visited the Athlon booth. Got a nice case there. Wow, nicely packed. Cleaning cloth, instructions, neck strap. Ooh, here we go. Oh yeah, look at that. Wow. This has got ED glass. It's got the integral laser range finder. I'm gonna get everything unpacked here and then I'm gonna give you a quick tour and then we're gonna go out in the field and take a look at them. So here again, we've got the contents, everything that comes with this particular binocular set. This time, everything taken out of the packaging. We've got this nice neoprene neck strap, which I'll install before I take it out into the field. Lens cleaning cloth, owner's manual, carrying case with strap, and then of course, the binoculars themselves. These are built on a magnesium chassis. They feature extra low dispersion glass. Now that's a step above HD, high density glass. It's gonna give you less chromatic aberration, which is color fringing, sort of magenta lines around areas of high illuminance transition or green fringing on the other side. Probably something that you've seen, it's distracting and it results in less clear of an image when you're looking through the binoculars. We've got these integral rubber caps that flip down on the front. We've got a rear monolithic double cap here with a connecting strap that can stretch, you'll see here, to accommodate uh, different interpupillary distance settings. We'll take a look through here. Wow, it looks really nice. I'll have to play with the individual focus settings here. Uh, but what I really like what I see so far uh, the construction looks spot on. Uh, I'm going to need to add a CR2 battery. I did not see that in the box, so I'm going to go get one of those and add that. Uh, in terms of specifications, 10 power fixed magnification, 50 millimeter objective. And the laser range finding is specced at 800 yards for something like a deer, something that's not as reflective, and 2,000 yards for reflective targets like white painted targets that you'd encounter at a match, which is really impressive. That's beyond a mile, 1760 uh, is a mile. So I'm really looking forward to putting these binoculars through their paces. And in this video, again, this is a quick look. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna install a battery, I'm gonna install the straps, and then we'll head out the field to get my first full impressions. Quick update. A lot has transpired since I filmed that first portion of the video. I've had a lot of time with these range finding binoculars and have really enjoyed that functionality of having the range finder combined with the binoculars. Uh, previously, when I would shoot a PRS match, I've got the laser range finder hanging off one side, binoculars hanging off the other side. They inevitably get tangled up and it's just more than you wanna have to deal with. So prepping for that PRS match, shooting that PRS match, these Cronus range finding binoculars really helped me take my game to the next level. I've also done a bunch of scouting and hunting with these range finding binoculars. I really enjoy the clarity and again, to have that integrated range finding capability inbuilt into the binoculars. It's absolutely awesome. So while I was up here just a moment ago, I did a little bit of digiscoping, looking through these binoculars with the camera. This is just my preliminary setup it's not very refined yet, but I wanted to show you what the acquisition looks like, what the display looks like, and how quickly this laser rangefinder locks onto a particular distance that you're ranging. So starting at about 100 yards gives you an idea of the field of view. You tap the button once, it brings up the circle and the dashes, and then you tap it again, and it's gonna go ahead and range for that particular object, that target, whatever it is that you're ranging. 
And then I took it out to just over a thousand yards. That's this ridge line back here behind where I'm standing right now. And again, tap, tap again, boom. I mean, just almost instantly. And I'm just ranging off of trees here. So variety of different surfaces I've tested. These range finding binoculars have worked very reliable off of that variety of surfaces. And then I thought, well, just for fun, I'm gonna go all the way across the canyon to the distant ridge. And that's over 2,000 yards. So pressed it once, pressed it twice, boom, it's locked on to about 2,100 yards range. That is well over a mile. I am absolutely <laughs> impressed with these. Very reliable, very quick, and built into the binoculars that have great optical qualities. And it's just a very, very convenient package to have. Now that I have these Kronos range finding binoculars, I'm not sure that I could shoot without them. So that kind of concludes my first look. You'll see these range finding binoculars in you know stories coming up on the channel. Make sure you're subscribed with notifications because you're not going to want to miss that comment. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. And I would really like to know what you think. What do you think of these binoculars or other range finding binoculars that you're using? Please drop a comment and we'll start a discussion. Don't forget, I got Ultimate Reloader shirts at the Ultimate Reloader store. I'm also on Patreon, and that first link in the video description will link to the product page for these binoculars. And I also have an article with a lot more detail. Thanks for watching. Until next time, happy shooting and happy reloading.